Right, who is the greatest superhero ever? And what even makes a great superhero? Do you prefer your superheroes with a dark and checkered past? A bit like Batman, protector of Gotham City, fighting foes such as the Joker and Penguin? Or do you prefer your superheroes a bit more squeaky clean, like Captain America, honest and goodness right to the core? Or perhaps someone for a bit further afield. How about Superman from the planet Krypton, who crash lands on Earth discovering he has amazing superpowers, but still remains that integrity and honesty. You see, to me, it matters where a superhero is from, it matters what they do, and it matters where they end up. For example, what about the legendary Thor? Son to king and queen of Asgard, Odin and Freya, with special, special superpowers, special skills, well, smashing things with his hammer and having an incredibly deep voice. And yeah, he helps save planet Earth, but then clears off to other parts of the universe. And sure, it's great to have someone, sure it is, who comes in from outer space, pitches in, helps save the universe from impending doom. But wouldn't it be great if they stuck around? Wouldn't that be a greater superhero? What about someone that actually came from planet Earth, was a bit more invested, that then gained their superpowers. What about Captain Marvel? Starting life as pilot Carol Danvers, having an encounter with alien technology and gaining superpowers. Special skills, well, essentially being more powerful than anyone or anything else in the universe. Unfortunately, having gained those skills and talents and superpowers, she goes off to help everyone else in the universe, and like Thor, doesn't hang around. And so wouldn't it be great if we could find a superhero that would hang around? They would be born and bred planet Earth, just like us, and gain some superpowers, but then hang around. In the case of Spider-Man, friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man, doing exactly that. And yeah, that is the right way up. Peter Parker, orphaned, and living with his Aunt May, gets bitten by a radioactive spider and gains superpowers. Special skills, being very spider-like, spinning webs and swinging around, but still being a very, very nice man. Or perhaps you prefer your homegrown superheroes to be a little bit more grumpy. Enter Incredible Hulk, David Banner, when an experiment goes badly wrong, discovers that when he gets angry, he gets green. And not only green, he gets very, very big. Special skills, well, being green and big and very strong and very angry. And being a man of very, very few words. But what if there was a superhero more powerful than all of the others put together. One who could and did just say the word and cause the whole of the universe to spring into existence in the first place. What if there was a superhero who could, at any moment, click their fingers and all life in the universe would cease to exist? And no, I'm not talking about Marvel's of Thanos. Good looking bloke, classic haircut. Powerful, yes, but not even close to the power of the kind of superhero that I'm describing. And what if, instead of flying in to save the day and flying off again, they, ready for this, they gave up all of their power and glory. They left it behind and became one of us. Someone who was actually born as one of us, as a tiny, helpless baby, after having given up all of their power and glory. A baby who would grow up to be the one who saves us all 
not by superpowers or violence, but by dying in our place, so that none of us have to face death with fear ever again. And what if, in giving up their immense powers, they instead empowered us to be superheroes? What if they empowered us to be the best people we could possibly be and even be called children of God? With all of the power of heaven at our disposal, our disposal would they not be the greatest, incredible, most incredible superhero ever? And this might just blow your mind, but that is exactly what we celebrate at Christmas time. Jesus Christ, the only son of the living God, is that superhero. The beginning of the Gospel of John tells us about Jesus, the one who spoke all of existence into being, standing at the side of his heavenly father, the one who still continues to hold all of creation together, without whom all existence would implode into nothing. <clears throat> and the Gospel of Luke tells us that this Jesus, the supreme being, the all-powerful one, gave up all of this power all of this glory to be born as a human baby. Mind-blowing? Utterly mind-blowing. And not a human baby born in a palace in a bed fit for a king, surrounded by the best midwives, doctors, medicines and equipment that money can buy. No, a baby born without a penny to his name, not even born in a guest room in a traveller's inn. A baby born in a stable a filthy animal shed, and because his parents didn't have a bed with them, no cot, no mattress on the floor even, they placed him in a dirty animal feeding trough to sleep. And that's the Christmas story. That's the greatest story ever told, and it happens to be true. Every single word. And the baby that we celebrate today will grow up to be the one who brings many, many people back to God, raises them up to be called children of God. And ultimately, as we read in the Easter story, offers his own life in place of ours, is killed and is buried in a tomb. The one who created the entire universe surrenders his life to death for you and me. And even more amazingly, three days later is brought back to life by his heavenly father, defeating the power of death once and for all. And so, my vote for the greatest superhero ever. The greatest superhero ever to walk the earth goes to the one and only Jesus Christ. More incredible, more super a greater captain than all the other superheroes, a real God, the real God. Not greed and angry, and most importantly, his story, the gospel of Jesus Christ, is actually true. And his story is being recounted to billions of people all over the world on this very, very special day. God bless you all every one of you, and have a great Christmas.